Take a guess as to what I'm planning to do today. Waste our time in your hard drive space. Ah, uh, you're hilarious, aren't you? No, the plan for me today is to try and fend off hordes of zombies in this very mall in five days' time. So basically role-playing Dawn of the Dead? In a way, yes. I need to do a lot of resource gathering to make sure everything goes the way I want it to. So this entire video will consist of you rummaging through an empty mall for a few in-game days? You're so enthusiastic today, it's astounding. I got the idea from Private Lime on YouTube. By the way, guys, go check him out for entertaining Project Zomboid videos. His link will be in the description. Did you just break the fourth wall nonchalantly? Nobody pays attention to people's descriptions unless it's said in their video. It's that simple. So, my to-do list for this video will be gathering weapons, food, crafting material, a place to camp out at once, the horde starts, and maybe steal some furniture to make the base feel more like home. So you won't be gunning them down on the ground floor like a badass would? I don't want to be caught from behind and bitten so easily. I want to be smart and not some adrenaline junkie. I can gun them down, but I prefer it to be where I can actually stand a chance and don't have to always run around. So in other words, you're too scared to do it. Fuck off, Joe. I work smart, not hard. His logic isn't too far gone, though, Joe. A smart person would rather stay safe and stay hidden rather than risk their lives for clout. I'm gonna need a lot of planks if I'm gonna barricade myself. I prefer getting metal sheets, but you do you, boo-boo. And there we go. Easy planks for me. Holy shit, I think I found the gun store already. At least you'll never have to worry about firearms for the entire run. I am armed to the fucking teeth now. So what's your genius plan for up here? If I get overrun and my safe place is no longer safe, I'll run up here, dismantle these wooden floor tiles, which will create a hole for the zombies to fall in. It's a last resort. I'd prefer if I had a sledgehammer so I don't have to waste time dismantling when being chased. Seems simple enough. Just so my inventory isn't so fucking cluttered with weapons, I'll set some on this table. Only in this game can you have weapons that are deemed illegal for civilians to have. That's why I'm a politician. Is there seriously a fucking zombie here already? Seems like the Horde night mod isn't perfect and stragglers seem to slip through way before they're supposed to. Donald, if you got bit right there, that would have been the saddest and funniest thing I've seen all week. Just like you saying you could do the you have one day challenge and died nine hours in. Fuck off, Donnie. Speaking of zombies that slipped through the mod, here's fucking three more. Where's the third one? I hear it outside and I'm gonna take care of it. Let's just hope that the mod doesn't fuck up by sending a Horde way in advance. Now I'm on a hunt for a screwdriver and a propane torch. I've also noticed that the game glitched and I cannot loot all anymore. I need to move to my inventories. With all the mods you have right now, I'm surprised that it's breaking now and didn't immediately. I think I finally found the hardware store. This place should have all I would need for now. How's your food gathering? I have enough food to feed Africa ten times over. For someone like you, that's fitting. And there you have it, a propane torch. I might as well take as many planks as I can from this store to start building defenses. Knowing you, Donald, I know exactly what you are going to build. It's not a wall, people! I mean, it's kind of a wall there, Trump. Well, whatever, this is apparently an impenetrable defense, and I would explain why if I really knew myself. And what if this fails? You'd be swarmed so fucking quick. Well, if I ever come across a sledgehammer, I can just bust through a wall and book it. I think I've done quite a bit today. I still need to do more stuff, and I might make more barricades in the main part of the mall so I can mow them down from above without being compromised. It'll look cool in the videos, too. One thing's for sure, though. It's going to be chaos.